But it, that is absolutely true about, you know, people needing to believe in things. And it's a scary thing when you start to believe in politicians. You can't trust them. You see, but we need to believe something. And you're not allowed to believe in religion. Well, you can, but people will laugh at you and throw things. Because <laughs> it was just sort of decided in the 20th century that religion is basically a formalized panic about death. That's all. I mean, look at the Catholic Church, the campest organization on the planet with the purple robes, gold bits on the side, jewelry so big if they let it fall it will kill people. What else can it be with this sort of ritual of panic about death? Death is coming, quick, put on the gold hat. There you see, people never really grow up. I don't mind most, most religious people. I talk to them, you know, I listen to them banging on. I prayed very hard and then the fairy came. Did he good? Have a biscuit. <laughs> I only get annoyed when they try and make me see the fairy. You have to let the fairy into your heart. Look, I wouldn't let him into my garden, okay? I'd shoot him on sight if he existed, which he doesn't. Now have another Bicky and be quiet, will you please? <laughs> But you can absolutely understand the desire to believe in something to support you, you know? I mean, children like to be uh, supervised by adults. You know, that's why children go, look, no hands, or look, I can do this, look, I'm really good at this, whatever it is. Because it validates them, it shows them that they are there because somebody else is watching over them. Grown-ups are the same. Not that there is any such thing as a grown-up, really. Do you want to be, you know, the idea of like to be watched by something, you know? Because, I mean, the planet's not going to miss us when we finish fucking it up and killing each other. So we needed the idea of God to have somebody to miss us, or at least notice that we weren't there anymore, because we've all died out, because we fucked it up. <laughs> and God could go, look, they're not there. The lizards are doing quite well, though, good on them. <laughs> We were sort of gradually growing out of that now. You know, I passed a church a couple of days ago and saw one of those signs here at church, churches. It said, it said, Jesus said, I am the light of the world, which is a very male view. You know, if Jesus had been Jesusina, <laughs> it would have been more modest. You know, because it's a woman wouldn't have, traditionally have to be more modest. Jesusina would have gone, well, I'm quite bright. And because, uh, you know, we, because you have dreams, they need to go somewhere, so they go into belief. And this we get very extreme people, obviously, in any religion. But with suicide bombers, one of the things I don't understand is, what's in it for the women suicide bombers? Because with the men, you know, it's a very male kind of promise at the end of it, 72 virgins. A man, I think, thought of that. And, um... <laughs> But I bet you what, what women are offered is much more modest. It's probably, you know, flexible working hours and decent childcare at the end of it, something like that. <laughs> but, anyway, look, so you don't, people don't believe in religion anymore. 